Black Ops 6 on my ROG Ally. You know, I didn't have a very good experience running this game um, in the beta, and I've seen a lot of comments saying that their game is crashing. Even on Legion Go, they're saying it's crashing a lot. I haven't experienced that many crashes on my Legion Go, and I haven't even played a single match on the Ally. All I did was download the game last night, and here it is. Um, I am plugged in. I'm on turbo mode. I'll go further into detail in settings in a separate video for those of you that want to know the settings. For now, we're just going to jump into a match and sort of see how it goes. Also, I am first prestige. I prestiged yesterday and I got my fifth gold SMG. The problem is I prestiged and now I don't have access to the sixth SMG so that I can continue doing SMG. So I'm going to have to switch to like ARs or something. But for this match specifically, I'm just going to use of my SMG class that I was already using because I did not make an AR class that I'm gonna use for challengers or anything like that. Probably do the XM4 in the meantime or something while I get to level 37 to complete the last SMG, which is the PP919. That's the one I'm missing. What map did we get? Ooh, Subsonic. I actually really like this map. Um, so far we're good, and frame rates look good. This thing is super loud on turbo mode. I forgot how loud it was. All right, here we go. Hmm. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Ooh. Oh! Hostilio's on hard peasy. Oh, God. Chimacallit. Oh, my God. Holy hit marker machine, bro. Oh, wait. Let's go. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Oh, get down! He knows I'm here, though. Probably dead here. Ah, uh, this actually looks really good. I believe I'm playing at 900p. I know I'm leaking the settings little by little, <laughs> but I just really didn't want to like do a full section of settings uh, in this video. I just kind of wanted to jump in here and see if it worked because I've just seen that it crashes so much or that it doesn't launch and things like that. But it's working fairly well. Only issue here is a skill issue. I'm doing kind of cheeks, but. It's working. Don't close the door on me. You know, actually, the other thing is this system is just more comfortable to hold than the Legion Go. There's a couple of things I like about the Ally over the Legion Go. I know people ask me all the time which one I like. I do prefer um, the Legion Go a lot of the time for the bigger screen. And there was a point in time I was playing the Legion Go like without the controllers on a kickstand and using a normal PS5 controller and I loved playing that way and you can't really do that I mean you could do that with this system you could put it on a kickstand or something but the screen is a lot smaller so but in terms of the things I do like about this system I do like the screen a lot mainly because of the anti-glare like you don't get any reflections or anything in this screen I really really like that and also the colors look great the audio is really good I would say the audio on this system is definitely better than the Legion Go and um, oh and just the ergonomics of it the comfort and the weight because lately my Legion Go been feeling like a brick but I mean other than that uh, I do still play on my Legion Go a little bit more but we'll see we'll see with this game because right now this feels so comfortable to me. Just like a smaller device to hold. Ooh. I'm actually not doing bad. This was, um, how do I, you guys seen this knife animation? I know you guys seen this. This thing is pretty fire. How come I can't do the, okay, okay, okay. It literally tries to kill you. Watch. <laughs> See how crispy this looks? fire mm -mm -mm -mm. oh you know I'm I'm not even lagging or anything I'm not even seeing packet loss which is pretty great damn this gun feels so good ah <laughs> I didn't see him back there until like the hit markers came in bro come on I need to put inverted flash on I keep saying this is that a person? Oh, thumbstick grips. A lot of people have been asking me about the Legion Go thumbstick grips. Those are from Timu. Uh, in my Timu video, I cover the case I use on my Legion Go and the thumbstick grips. If you are curious, you can check that out. The links to those items are in the description of that video. The thumbstick grips on this device 
are from Syntec. The company's name is Syntec. And they make a Syntec dock, which comes with thumbstick grips. And they also make Steam Deck covers, which came with these specific white thumbstick grips. So I don't know if they're sold separately, but that's where I got them from. If you want a link, you can uh, just ask about it in the comments. I'll try to find it for you. But just know I don't think they're sold separately. Is this about to be over? Oh my god, I should not have got that. Okay, okay, okay. Are we really going to play the full match and uh, it's not going to crash? What are you guys talking about? What am I even at? Like 89 frames, not bad. Oh! Oh! I also prefer these, I know the translucent thumbstick grips that I have on the Legion Go look pretty cool, but these are actually like the most comfortable thumbstick grips that I have. Oh my god, bro, the Ultra Bouncing Betty is just so annoying, and I think it's too strong, and I see it so much. That might be the only annoying thing, like, item in this game. I feel like, for the most part, SMGs are good at close range, ARs are actually good at long range, AR fights don't win against SMG battles as they should. At least that's how, like, from what I've played, that's kind of how it feels. And I'm happy it's that way. Um, I really wanted to get my Diamond SMGs, but I have to level to 37, bro, to get the PP919. And then, whatchamacallit. Bro, let me... Ah, the aim! The aim goes everywhere. I need to try gyro. I saw that Legion Go added native gyro support. I will be trying to get that set up so I can, you know, check it out. I haven't played Warzone Mobile in a while, but I definitely like picked up on gyro and I really enjoyed it. So there is that. There's a full match. We lost. The game felt really good though. And in and this is like slightly, you know, warm, you know what I'm saying? It's warm. By the way, this is the OG ROG Ally from day one. This is the Z1 Extreme model um, with a fried SD card reader, you know, classic. And I do not have an ROG Ally X or a Steam Deck OLED, so I cannot tell you how those work or run or anything. This is just based off of the game. In this case, the game is installed directly to the internal storage. Um, on my Legion Go, I do have the game installed onto an SD card. This is the Xbox Game Pass version of the game as well. A couple of things to note there. But wow, that actually... No, I'm going to have to play on here a little bit more. That actually felt really good. It's also a lot harder for me to play it with the system face down like this. Because normally I would probably hold it like this. But to give you guys a viewing angle, I have to hold it right here. So... Unless I get like a cam that I can wear and you can see like in front of me, that would be like the next step to let you guys see exactly how I play. Yeah, this actually felt really good. Um, definitely probably taking this game to work today and playing on break on this device. I'm glad I got it downloaded on here. It's a little bit easier to travel with the ROG Ally as well because it is smaller. That's a little intro to Black Ops 6 on the ROG Ally. It does work. Confirmed right here by me. It works. It felt really good. Controls felt great, visuals looked great. I will go more in depth with graphics and settings in a later video. Hopefully you found this video informative or entertaining. If you wanna check out the gameplays on the Legion Go, be sure to check that out. The Steam Deck gameplay I have is from the beta, but I will be also checking the game out on there um, whenever I get the chance. So stay tuned for those. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.